Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to give you a pretty thorough overview of this article, of this case. It is harrowing. I'm going to need to give you a trigger warning. Um, this is an incident, a very tragic incident, which occurred Friday midday in Michigan. There is one gentleman that has been murdered. His girlfriend has been stabbed multiple times. Their two children have been injured the 10 year old boy hunter has suffered head trauma he was taken to hospital in critical condition we're not aware of his current condition so thoughts and prayers to 10 year old hunter and uh, also five-year-old chloe their daughter uh, was also injured although she's in a stable condition and we're told that her injuries were less severe um, so we got to we got to put all of our prayers to this family. It's an absolute tragedy. Um, tragically, the gentleman that you see in front of you was murdered. His name is Jim Matthews. He's a 57 year old news anchor at a radio station called WWJ 950 in Michigan. And he is very much loved. Uh, he's going to be very much missed. He's considered to be a true professional within his career. He loved his career. He loved his family. He loved his children. Uh, he's been murdered. This happened at his own home Friday midday. The suspect is currently hospitalized. They had attempted to have a heroin commit a heroin overdose um officers administered narcan which re resuscitated him revived him he's hospitalized and he's in custody um so the suspect is known to the family he's somewhat of a family friend he had visited the home Jim Matthews and his girlfriend Nicole Gerton's home uh, several times. I'm just scrolling down to show you their home. There is the home uh, in uh, Bayview Drive in the Chesterfield Township, which is considered a quiet, a quiet suburb outside of Detroit. Very nice home. So the suspect uh, knew these guys. He's 54 years of age. He's a family friend. He He's visited the home several times and he was invited into the home by jim uh the murder victim and uh, we don't know why but the family friend the suspect attacked the entire family um the girlfriend the live-in girlfriend nicole gerton the mother of the two children hunter and chloe hunter 10 years of age chloe five years of age the girlfriend was reportedly bound and gagged but thankfully she broke free she managed to escape after being stabbed multiple times she ran out of the home carrying five-year-old chloe her daughter who had also suffered injuries, although thankfully they were considered less severe injuries. And Chloe is in a crit uh, sorry, Chloe is in a stable condition. So the mother, the girlfriend, Nicole Gertin, thirty-five years of age, ran outside after breaking free from being bound and gagged. Ran outside. Chloe clutching onto Chloe. She managed to flag down a passing driver who then subsequently called the police. The police arrived to the home in several minutes, within several minutes. They, they got there pretty quickly. When they arrived, they found Jim Matthews dead on the premises. Um... They found Nicole Gerton seriously injured, having been stabbed multiple times. They also found 10-year-old Hunter. 10-year-old Hunter. He was tied up in a closet with head trauma, critically injured. 
He was promptly hospitalized. The article isn't in a position to inform us of his current condition. So we hope, we pray that uh, he is recovering, that he continues to recover. Our thoughts go to Hunter in particular. Um, Nicole was also hospitalized. She suffered multiple stab wounds. Um, the article isn't telling us of Nicole's current position. Of course, we pray that she recovers. Chloe... The five-year-old girl was injured in a less severe way. We're not told of the specific injuries that Chloe sustained, uh, but she is in a stable condition. So that's a blessing. The suspect, as I say, had attempted um, to overdose on heroin. He was given Narcan and he also suffered self-inflicted wounds. So he's being hospitalized. He's in a stable condition. Um, the article isn't telling us of any charges. I would imagine that uh, charges will be formalized once he's out of hospital or something along those lines. Uh, but, uh, you know, presumably he will be charged with the murder of Jim Matthews as well as uh, the attacks on the rest of the family. 35-year-old living girlfriend, Nicole Gertin, their 10-year-old son, Hunter, and 5-year-old daughter, Chloe. The article also uh, has a, a number of comments about how much loved Jim, uh, the victim, the murder victim, was and is by his colleagues at the radio station. Um... And the article also tells us that there's no known motive. Again, the suspect was a family friend. He visited the home several times. So why this attack, nobody knows at this point in time. Again, this happened Friday midday in Michigan. So it is still very much early days in regards to the investigation. Um, so again, thoughts and prayers go to the family we hope, we pray that Nicole Gertin, stabbed multiple times, makes a full recovery. Uh, in particular, Hunter, in critical condition, or he, rather he was taken to hospital in critical condition, suffering from head trauma. We hope, we pray that he makes a full recovery. We're, we're glad that Chloe is in a stable condition. We hope that she continues to recover. We hope that the... The, the family, the children get all of the support and love that they need. I'm not aware of a GoFundMe. Uh, if you guys do become aware of one, please let me know and I'll add it to the uh, description or such. Um, such a senseless tragedy, seemingly. Of course, we can't forget the murder victim, Jim Matthews. Our thoughts and prayers go to the rest of the family at this point um, because they're in, you know, they're, they're injured. Um, so we... We want them to make a full recovery. Our thoughts and prayers go to the extended family. Uh, and also, you know, their family, their friends, the the radio stations, all of the colleagues are clearly uh, devastated by this news that they've had to report on themselves. Uh, so that's, that's another harrowing aspect to this. But I'm going to wrap things up at this point, guys. If you appreciate the coverage... Please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit and take care.